From Notting Hill to white chicks, here are the top 10 times Amber Heard stole quotes for her testimony. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have Notting Hill. During Amber Heard's testimony, she spoke about her and Johnny's first time meeting and basically how they fell in love. So during this, she spoke about a time where Johnny was sober, he wasn't drinking alcohol, and instead he was drinking tea. Lots of tea. If you have been following the trial, her emphasis on how much tea he was drinking might have struck you as a little odd. I mean, I was watching it live and I was a little confused as to why she spoke about it so many times and seemed to care about it so much. Many people on the internet, however, are starting to believe that it may be a reference to Notting Hill. It's similar to a line that Julia Roberts has seen saying to Hugh Grant, and people out there think that the way Amber said it in her testimony was also a mimicked version of how Julia Roberts said it. It may seem like a small thing, but in the grand scheme of all of the quotes that we're going to talk about on this list today, it certainly becomes a little more interesting. In our number nine spot today, we have Mildred Pierce. During Amber's testimony, she begins talking about what she claims is the first time Johnny hit her. While speaking about this, she claims that after this, Johnny said that he would, quote, rather cut off his hand, end quote, than lay another hand upon her. Many people believe that this is a line that was stolen right from the 1945 film Mildred Pierce. In this film, there's a scene where Mildred sort of suddenly lashes out and she ends up slapping Veda across the face. As Veda stands there looking surprised at what just happened, Mildred apologizes for her actions, saying, quote, I'm so sorry I did that. I've had rather cut off my hand. The lines definitely are similar, whether or not they were directly stolen from these pieces of work. Maybe they're stolen, maybe it's a coincidence, or maybe it just shows how rehearsed the testimony is. In our number eight spot today, we have the talented Mr. Ripley. This quote is definitely one of the most popular ones floating around the internet today, and it is said to be in reference to Amber Heard's opening statements. People are claiming that Amber was directly quoting the talented Mr. Ripley, which featured a character who would shower people with gifts and then sort of disappear, sort of similar to what Amber testified about her relationship with Johnny. While it's floating around the internet that she directly quoted the movie word for word, I could not find a timestamp where she took the quote directly. Instead, however, I could find things that would sort of suggest a similar story to what was seen in the movie. The quote people are referencing says, quote, the thing with blank, Amber says Johnny, it's like the sun shines on you and it's glorious, and then he forgets you and it's very, very cold. When you have his attention, you feel like you're the only person in the world. That's why everybody loves him so much. Amber didn't say these words exactly, as far as I could find, but she does say something similar. She talks about a sort of warm glow that was felt at the beginning of their relationship, and that he showered her with gifts and made her feel like the most beautiful woman in the world, and they would be in this bubble for four or five days at a time, but then he would suddenly just disappear. In our number seven spot today, we have I Am A Killer. During Amber's testimony, she spoke about a time when she and Johnny were around another woman, and they were all under the influence of different substances at the time. Amber claimed that at one point, this other woman leaned her head on Amber's shoulder, and she claims that this set Johnny off. She went on to allege that Johnny then, at some point, grabbed this woman's wrist and twisted it and pulled it towards him. It is then that Amber claims he said, quote, do you know how many pounds of pressure it takes to break a human wrist? She went on to say, quote, he held her and she looked frozen. She's crying. Many people online have pointed out that this line, which she claimed he said, is actually something that was said by someone who appeared in the Netflix show, I Am A Killer. In the Netflix show, the woman was serving a life sentence for taking the life of her former partner who had broken her hands in this exact same way. The episode in question was called In Her Hands. In our number six spot today, we have Shrek 2. <laughs> okay, this one is certainly probably the silliest on this list and definitely a little on the satire side, but the internet will always be undefeated in seeing something and running with it. This is a moment in the trial that someone on TikTok was quick to point out was kind of similar to a moment in Shrek 2 of all of the movies that exist. In the Shrek clip, Prince Charming is looking around going, whoa, what happened here? In this TikTok clip, it quickly cuts to Amber who says the exact same thing almost in the exact same way. I would definitely like to assume that she did not steal a line from Shrek 2 for her testimony, but at this point, really anything is possible. In our number five spot today, we have White Chicks. During Amber Heard's first day of testimony, she told quite a frightening story that she alleges is a real and true thing that Johnny did. She explained that 
there was a point where she had called Depp's sister, who is said to have showed up later to help remove Depp from the home. But as they were driving in the car, she told a terrible tale of what she says happens. She said, quote, he has the window down. At some point, he starts howling out the window and he grabbed Boo, his dog, a slightly chunkier teacup Yorkie. He grabs Boo and holds Boo out the window of the moving car. He's howling like an animal while holding the dog out of the window. She does go on to explain how everyone reacted in this situation, but people on the internet were quick to point out a hypocritical moment. Not only did people think that this story was taken straight out of the movie White Chicks, in which there is quite a similar scene as to what she just described, but there is also an Instagram photo that has since been circulating the internet of a similar scenario that Amber described, but in this scenario, it is very clearly Amber who is holding the dog out of the car window. This has all made people skeptical of this story, she told, and unsure of the truth behind it. In our number 4 spot today, we have True Detective. This is a moment that is similar to the I am a killer one we already talked about, and it's in reference to the part of Amber's testimony where she was speaking to an aggressive moment that happened on a flight between Amber, Johnny, and the flight attendant who was on the same flight at the time. Amber claimed that Johnny grabbed this flight attendant's wrist, slammed it down, and said something similar to how a few pounds of pressure could break it. One Twitter user was quick to point out the similarities between this testimony and a scene from True Detective Season 1. People seem to believe that this was taken from the show considering the similarity of this story to the other one we already talked about, as well as the similarity to the show. It is compelling that people are pointing out that perhaps either of these women might have spoken out or testified if these stories were true, but of course that doesn't mean the story isn't true, it's just an interesting question we have to ask. In our number 3 spot today we have the article. This is something that wasn't stolen from a movie or a piece of literature, but it is something that people have been pointing out because it seems as though it is untruthful or at the very least in direct contrast to something she had mentioned prior to their divorce. Amber claimed during her testimony that prior to her relationship with Johnny, she wasn't a fan of his. She said she wasn't a fan of his art, but when fans found an article from years ago, they began to question just how true that really was. In the article, it is said that Amber, as a teenager, had photos of Johnny all over her room. A friend of hers told the Inquirer that Johnny was basically Amber's first love, that when she was a teenager, she had already decided to become an actor and that she had photos of him all over her room. They finished by saying, quote, So it's no surprise they fell in love while working together. Amber can usually get whatever she sets her mind to. In our number two spot today, we have Alpha Dog. This one is more of a theory in relation to the trial rather than a direct ripoff, but it certainly is interesting. So we have all heard the story of the poo on the bed at this point. If you haven't, basically it's just a story that suggests that Amber had left feces in the bed that she and Depp had shared together after a night of arguing. It is said that she tried to blame the mess on the pair's dogs, but many people have suggested that this was just a lie to cover the bizarre action. This theory in question is that this entire move was one that was stolen from the movie Alpha dog. In the movie, which she actually was in, although it was a short appearance, one of the characters who is under the influence of certain substances decides to defecate on his enemy's rug as revenge. It certainly is a cinematic move, that's for sure. Whether this is true or not has yet to be proven, but it certainly is a compelling theory. In our number one spot today, we have Made. People on Twitter pointed out a similarity in Amber's testimony to a Netflix series called Made. People specifically pointed out the part where she was talking about how Johnny alleged allegedly threw a glass in her direction, then punched a wall, then punched the wall right next to her. According to people who have seen the Netflix show, which is about a woman who is fleeing a very harmful relationship in order to provide a better life for her children, it is said that this scene is actually in the show. It is entirely possible that real life just happened to align with the show, but with everything else on this list, people certainly are more suspicious than they normally would be. Many people said that even during her explanation of this story, they vividly thought of this Netflix show. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. Let me know all of your thoughts below, what you think about these quotes. Do you think Amber's ripping off things? Do you think they just somehow are aligning? Let us know down below. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye!